I just want to say a few words to my new wife. There's a few words. That's a, that's a One page. <laughs> Well, there's nothing that defines our relationship. It's all the small things. So, like, when I hear you talking to Audrey downstairs and she tries to talk back. Sorry. Uh, I never get annoyed when I secretly film you and then send it to all your family. And <laughs> We're going crazy when Jamie Elliott scores a goal in the last minute. Yeah, so good. Um, so good. Yeah. But, yeah, you're an incredible, beautiful mother and now my wife, Chrissy, who's only bought the best out of me. They say you are the company you keep. And if that's the case, I can only imagine the possibilities in life with you by my side. And that's it. First heard about Chrissy when Miles made the trip home from the UK but for Christmas about five. God, I'm shaking like a leaf. About five years ago. They were friends before lovers, and rumour has it they kept their relationship under wraps for a little while. I've got this thing going on with my flatmate. We're trying to keep it hush hush. He said. <laughs> but yeah, it's been been an absolute whirlwind since those early days moving into the same room just to save on rent. So that was good. Um, <laughs> Apart from safety concerns, we were concerned that she would meet a foreign person in a foreign country and decide to stay there. Well, we were re relieved, however, when we learned that this mystery man was not in fact a pom, but rather he was a kiwi. From the day I met Miles, I knew he would make someone really happy and I didn't think that person would be me. I also thought it was pretty young, so I was like, oh. <laughs> he's the kind of guy that you hope your sister falls in love with, and I'm selfishly glad that he's made the move to Australia. Sorry to everyone from New Zealand. <laughs> he's Chrissy's greatest supporter, and now he's Audrey's as well. There was never a doubt in my mind that we wouldn't be here today. You are the most beautiful couple and of course now family with gorgeous Audrey. Beautiful Audrey. She brings laughter and joy into your home and creates a strength of love between you both that is unshakable. I, Miles, take you, Chrissy, as the love of my life and I promise to keep making you burst out in that unmistakable laugh and hold space in tough times. And I'll dedicate my days to our health so we can create the life we've dreamed of for us and Audrey. I'm committed to you wholeheartedly and will always make you a priority in my life. Don't you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to continue to have fun with you, not taking life too seriously. I promise to listen and support you through life's challenges, including injuries and all blacks losses. Miles, you are my calming presence, my biggest cheerleader, my best friend, my soulmate, my rock, my world. I am so excited that you are now finally my husband. Just a small bit about my mum and dad. So yeah, like Chrissy and I, they, they actually met in London. For my dad, it was his first day that he landed there. That was the first day that he met my mum and since then he's actually never left her side. Now they've been married 36 years, but I say it's probably a good thing because he, um, he still hasn't mastered the text message yet. <laughs> and once told me to take my laptop off the kitchen bench only for me to say, Dad, that machine makes cheese toasties. Not a lot of time. <laughs> Chrissy. Welcome to the Hume family. It seems as though London is the place us Humes go to find a wife. <laughs> Thank you.
definitely without a doubt best day was the day you brought Audrey into our, into our world. The way you've grown into motherhood has been so incredible to watch. Here we go! I knew he had it in him. I was targeting him.